Over a busy 4th of July weekend, Despicable Me 2 had one of the best debuts ever for an animated movie. The movie earned $143 million in five days. In second place, The Lone Ranger took in $48 million in its first five days. The comedy The Heat finished in third place with $24 million. Well, this weekend, it's a monster versus robot mashup or a sequel comedy about growing up. Here's Sean McBride, the movie guy, with a look at this weekend's new movies. Riding your bike to school in the morning. You couldn't do that in L.A. Yeah, thank God there's no crazy people out here. Put your hands in the air. And wave them like you just don't care. Say ho! Oh! Say ho! Adam Sandler reteams with his comedian buddies for Grown Ups 2, the sequel to his 2010 comedy. Sandler, Chris Rock, Kevin James, and David Spade are back as they move back into their old hometown. But things have changed. We're gonna take off that way. Naked. You guys are losers. <laughs> Grown Ups 2 wasn't screened for critics, so it remains to be seen if this superstar comedy cast can overcome some pretty mediocre word of mouth. In order to fight monsters, we created monsters of our own. This week's big film is Pacific Rim, Guillermo del Toro's tale of giant sea monsters attacking Earth's coastal cities. Humanity punches back with giant rock'em sock'em robots. It's a pretty simple premise. Giant robots fight giant monsters. But then del Toro does a great job at elevating Pacific Rim above what most other summer blockbusters are. Sure, the special effects and action sequences are top notch, but the human story is pretty interesting too. Pacific Rim will obviously appeal mostly to teenage boys, but there's enough good stuff here that mom and dad might even like it as well. The day we face the monsters that are at our door, we are canceling the apocalypse! And that's what's new this week in the movies. I'm Sean McBride, the movie guy. And Sean McBride, the movie guy, joins us via Skype to talk about the new movies. Hi, Sean. How you doing? Good, excited good. excited about Pacific Rim? Well, let me tell you, I, when I saw this movie, the trailers, I thought, I am going to skip this movie. There, I have no interest in this. But the reviews on it have been pretty positive. And, it, uh, and, and the movie maker, I trust him as a movie maker. So I'm, I'm starting to change my, my uh, options this weekend. Grown Ups trust Guillermo del Toro. He makes very good films, and even when he makes monster films, they're still kind of interesting. He kind of humanizes his monsters. He kind of does more than just a, you know, robots versus monsters fight them movie here. So you can expect that it's going to be something more than just your typical mindless summer blockbuster, and it is. But the other thing is that it is a typical summer blockbuster. So it is giant robots taking on giant monsters, and the 12-year-old boy in me is, is giddy about that. And I think it works on both levels. I, I don't think that the lead actors are quite as good as I would have liked them, but I think it's surprisingly robust for a summer blockbuster movie. Uh, you know, obviously the action stuff, the special effects, that's all top notch. But I think uh, Guillermo del Toro adds some nice fun touches to the movie. Uh, I think it's a real winner. So how does it work just from a visual standpoint, the, the, the whole 3D spectacle and, and uh, CG and all that? I mean, just as eye candy, does it work on that level? Yeah, it certainly does. And, and Del Toro's always been known for his visual images. And it's kind of interesting. You know, monsters always fight at night, you know, and it's kind of a cop-out because you kind of want to see a monster in full daylight. But then again, you don't because they're never quite as good in your mind's eye, in your in real life as they are in your mind's eye. But he keeps them in the, in the night, but he has them bleed this blue phosphorescent blood that really makes everything look kind of cool. I, I think visually this is a really, really good-looking film. Let's go to the other movie this week. It's a, it's a sequel comedy, Grown Ups, and of course put the two after it. Um, the first one fairly successful, and they made another one. Yeah, we can have a debate on to whether the first one was successful or not. Um, you know, it's funny, because most people, I think, think of Grown Ups, the Adam Sandler film from 2010, as being something of a bomb. But it did make $168 million, and it certainly can't have cost that much to produce. So there's a sequel. They didn't show it to anybody, though, so I can't tell you if it's a bomb. If I had to guess, I'd guess it's not a great comedy. But then again, you've got Chris Rock, Adam Sandler, Kevin James, David Spade, Maya Rudolph. Uh, you know, I mean, just a really good cast of actors. Sooner or later, they're going to have to have one joke that works anyway. Yeah, they have a long list of actors in this movie. It's like uh, everyone you could think of. It's the kitchen sink approach, I think. Right, and the, so that should get a lot of people into theaters. Um, but like I say, they didn't really go out of their way to show it to anybody of note. So um, we can't tell you if it was a really successful comedy or if it's just going to be another feel-good family comedy. Okay, Sean, thanks a lot. We appreciate it. See you next week. And we'll see all of you at a matinee.
You know what's kind of cool about the show, the, the movie Grown Ups, and now uh -huh. they're having the Grown Ups too, is the fact that it looks like they probably have more fun making the movie than that it is really funny and stuff. They're just getting together as friends and going, and hey, let's just act just as silly say, as we can. Just y'all roll the cameras and we're just going to go ahead and just do what we normally do best. Exactly, yeah, have I think fun. you're probably right. Invite some of our other celebrity friends like Shaq and the guy from Twilight, Lautner's in there. Yeah. So people just having a good time. I think you're right. They could do that here. We could do like a movie behind the scenes at Channel 6. People would have so much fun. They would laugh so much. But or then we quickly might get in flip, trouble. The, flip the channel.